Many people think of pigeons as rats of the sky that all look alike. But in fact, they display spectacular variations in their feathers, feet, and beaks. And we see this trait showing up in multiple breeds of pigeon. By studying their genetics, University of Utah biologist Mike Shapiro has traced the family tree of pigeons and found that birds of a feather don't always stick together. What we found through this study is that birds that are completely unrelated to each other can have very similar traits and others that are very closely related to each other can look completely different in terms of their traits. Why should we care about pigeon genetics? Pigeons are a great example of a species we can use to understand which genes are controlling some of these really interesting traits that we see in lots of other bird and other animal species. We can potentially understand which genes are controlling some of these interesting traits in the wild where these traits can help birds survive and reproduce. This breed is a Budapest short-faced tumbler. Shapiro shows an example of how birds with similar feathers differ genetically. He starts with English trumpeters. They have feathers on their feet in place of scales. And in fact, this one's been trimmed down a little bit. You can see how the feathers have been cut. This is another breed of domestic pigeon called the English powder. What's also interesting about this breed and several other powder and cropper breeds is that just like that English trumpeter we saw, they also have feathers on their feet. And yet these birds, at least as far as domestic pigeons go, are not very closely related to each other. Hi. The biologist also shows how pigeons with different traits can be closely related. So this is a pigeon breed known as the African owl, and you can see its short beak. You also notice that it doesn't have any ornamentation at all on the top of its head. This would be called a, a plain-headed breed. This is the old German owl breed of domestic pigeon. And you can see, like the African owl we just saw, this guy also has a short beak. But you also notice he has this cool ornamentation on the top of his head. This is called a head crest. In this case, it's a shell crest. So this is quite a bit different from the one that we just saw that's very closely related to it. Shapiro believes that research into pigeons may help us understand variations in other animals and even in people. A lot of different animals use exactly the same genes to build similar structures. So potentially by understanding which genes are controlling these structures in pigeons, we can then go out into the real world and understand which genes are underlying normal diversity in the wild, normal and abnormal diversity even in humans, including human disease. So if people say something's for the birds, Shapiro's research shows it still may be important.